let's create this cool old school CRT effect in Affinity Photo. First, we start by duplicating our original image. On the duplicate, I'm going to apply a pixelation filter to lower the quality of the image. We can find the pixelate filter from the filters menu under the distort section. Keep in mind that this is a destructive filter. Let's increase the slider until we have a slight pixelation. For this image, I think a value of 5 or 4 will work nicely. Remember, the goal is to slightly decrease the quality of the image. Next step is to create this typical CRT dotted look by creating a custom overlay. I'll hide the two layers we already have and add a circle to the canvas. For the color, I'll choose red and use the gradient tool to apply a radial gradient. I want the center of the circle to be slightly lighter so that we kind of get a glowy red circle. This looks about right. Now let's duplicate this two times. The second circle will be green, so I'll adjust the gradient points to green. I'll apply the same steps for the last circle, but instead of green, it will be blue. By the way, we could have also used an HSO adjustment to achieve this. Anyway, when we are finished, we will have this traffic light in RGB. I'll group the circles, give it a name and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to use this duplicate to create a pattern layer. Pattern layers in Affinity Photo will only work with pixel layers. So I'll right click and choose Rasterize and Trim. This will convert the group into a pixel layer. Now that we have a pixel layer, I can go to the layer menu and choose new pattern from selection. Pattern layers are pretty cool and I do have some other videos about it. So make sure to check them out. Let's hide the original group below and adjust the size of our circles so that we have a dotted screen. I'll enable the pixelated layer we created earlier so that we can determine a nice size for our pattern. If we increase the opacity of our pattern, we have a better view how the pattern will overlay the image. We already got a nice effect. Let's zoom in to get a better look and adjust the size of our pattern. Usually, you should try to get a circle fit in a pixel square, but you can just eyeball it so that it looks good for you. This looks about right. When we zoom out, we already have these nice scan lines in the image. For a stronger effect, optionally, we can duplicate the pattern layer and rotate this with 90 degrees. This will get a more dotted look. Perfect. Let's keep the opacity of these layers at 30 and select both of them so that we can apply them in the overlay blend mode. Depending on how strong you want the effect to be, you can also use other blend modes like soft light or hard mix. After we applied the overlay blend mode, we can fine tune the size of the pattern. Awesome, that looks great already. What we are missing is an RGB shift effect. Before we add the RGB shift effect, let's hide the pattern. To create the RGB shift effect, we can separate the channels and shift the channels, but in this video, I'll use a quicker method to achieve a simple RGB shift. I'm going to duplicate the pixelated layer. On the duplicate, I'll add a procedural texture filter and hide the green and blue channels by setting their values to zero. On the layer below, we'll also add a procedural texture filter, but this time, I'm going to hide the red channel. When we go to the layer above, containing only the red, and set the blend mode to add, we get our original image back. I can now resize and shift this layer to get a nice RGB shift effect. Let's not overdo it, so that we have a slight shift. I think it should be barely visible. Let's turn on the dotted pattern. And that looks amazing. CRT images usually are also very contrasty and don't have a lot of dynamic range. To achieve that, I'll duplicate the original image, move it to the top of the layer stack and apply a black and white adjustment to it. When I change the blend mode of this layer to soft light, we make the image more contrasty and lose the detail, which in my opinion is closer to a CRT image. We can reopen the black and white adjustment and fine tune it to get that contrasty washed out look. Excellent, here are some optional steps. Let's apply a gradient map adjustment on top to recolor the effect. For example, using a green gradient map, 
with the multiply blend mode we'll get that old school green monitor effect. But for this video I'm going to use warmer colors to get a more old TV effect. Another option we have is to use a glitch or noise overlay to make the image look more distorted. With the overlay I'm using I can use the screen blend mode and adjust the opacity and the blend range to dim down the overlay. CRT images usually also have some kind of distortion. For that we can use a live mesh warp filter. I can add the mesh warp on top of the layers tag and add some points to create distortions. It just gives that extra old school feeling to it. To wrap up we can also add a vignette to it using the live vignette filter. Depending on the effect you're going for, you can make a light vignette or a dark vignette. I think both will work. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.